Celebrities have it good in a lot of ways, whether they're an actor, an actress, a singer, a dancer, or any other kind of famous person, they get a lot. But that doesn't mean they're not subject to certain feelings and desires, such as not wanting to work with certain people. I'm Bob from World 5 List, and join me as I take you through 11 celebrities that will never work together. Number 11. Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj Now, American Idol is a show that came out of nowhere and charmed the world for many seasons before being cancelled and then recently reborn. And throughout the many seasons, there have been many judges. There were also perceived feuds between a lot of them, including an actual fake feud that went on between Simon Cowell and Paula Abdul. However, in season 12, an actual real one happened. Going through another judging change in the show, it was at this point that the show was declining and they decided to try and bring in some more big names to help out the ratings. This also included Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj, two singers who couldn't be farther apart part in terms of style and personality. Throughout the 12th season, the two argued on camera and off, and once it ended, so did their tenure on the show. Number 10. Terrence Howard and Robert Downey Jr. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is one of the greatest accomplishments in entertainment history, spanning over 10 years this May and 19 films once Infinity War comes out. It's a testament to great leadership, great writing, and great casting. Rarely, if ever, do they miss with a casting role, however, that doesn't mean that once a role is cast, it's all set. Now, we could have put how Edward Norton got replaced by Mark Ruffalo, but the bigger issue here is from the original Iron Man film, the one where Terrence Howard played Rhodey, who was destined to be War Machine, or so we thought. Despite the movie being a huge success, Howard would then be replaced after the first film, and really no clear explanation was ever given. However, Howard did suggest that Robert Downey Jr. is partially to blame, and some reports even go as far as to say that Howard's salary for the second film would have been sliced dramatically in order to pay just for Robert Downey Jr. to come back. Howard didn't exactly like that, and he left, and everyone took notice. Number 9. Joan Crawford and Betty Davis Two prominent actresses, who back in the early 30s and 40s were big names. At that time, these two were some of the biggest, brightest, and most beloved of all actresses in Hollywood. So naturally, yeah, they ended up hating each other. It started out small, they both loved the same man, and did things to try and get him, but then they were contracted to work on a film together called Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, and they did try to make it work, but fell into old habits. These two hated each other so much that when Crawford died in 1977, Betty Davis said, good. Well, the rivalry was so well known and documented that FX actually decided to make a series that was based on it. So yeah, you could say they really hated each other. Number 8. Bill Murray and Lucy Liu Case in point, the movie adaptation of the classic television show Charlie's Angels. In the film, Bill Murray played Bosley, Charlie's assistant. Lucy Liu, on the other hand, was one of the angels. Now, Murray is known for being very serious when playing his parts, and if he doesn't like something, he's not exactly too shy about it. During one scene, Murray apparently called out Lucy Liu, saying that she couldn't act, which for any actor or actress is one of the biggest insults you can throw at a person. Yet he did that, and a fight apparently ensued. While there is some debate on the how real it actually was, Bill Murray didn't return for the sequel, while Lou did. So take that as you will. And before I move on, we all know that Bill Murray is a genius actor and one of the icons of Hollywood. So tell me what your favorite Bill Murray role was in the comments below. My personal favorite is probably Scrooged. Number 7. Bruce Willis and Kevin Smith now, just like there's different kinds of people in the world, there are also different kinds of actors and directors. Sometimes those different types don't work so well together. During the film Cop Out, which was a major flop by the way, Kevin Smith was thrilled to be working with Bruce Willis, who he'd worked with on a Die Hard film. 
However, on Die Hard, he was an actor, and on Cop Out, he was the director, and that led to something he didn't expect. Now, according to Smith, Willis was checked out, and apparently only doing the film for money, which Smith had never had happen before. More than that, Willis wouldn't exactly listen to Smith, and was shaken by co-star Tracy Morgan's ability to ad-lib and change dialogue on the script. So then, the two never worked together again. Number 6. Tina Fey and Paris Hilton One time, Paris Hilton was set to be the host of SNL, and according to Fey, she was absolutely terrible behind the scenes. Wow, shocker. She would do things like demand skits that would insult people that she didn't like, with Jessica Simpson being noted by Faye as one such suggestion. Oh, and she barely gave notice to any of the other people in the cast. The hate ended up getting pretty bad, and it's safe to say they'll never work together again. Number 5. George Takei and William Shatner Space, the final frontier. This is the feud that took place on the Starship Enterprise. <clears throat> Sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Anyway, while the cast of the original Star Trek are legendary even to this day, two of the biggest stars, being William Shatner and George Takei, apparently don't get along very well to the extent that they were warring with one another since the show even first aired, even through today. Through the power of the internet, the feud has only gotten worse, with each one taking shots at the other and slinging out heinous names and insults. Number 4. Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones Jim Carrey noted during an interview with Howard Stern that while he had no hard feelings for co-star Tommy Lee Jones, the same really couldn't be said in reverse. Carrey said that one day he went to a restaurant and saw that Jones was there as well. Being polite, he went over to talk to him, and when Jones saw Carrey, the life apparently drained from his face. The two did shake hands, but right afterwards, Jones said that he hated Carrey and that he couldn't stand him. Now, this took Carrie aback, and when he asked why, the response was, I cannot sanction your buffoonery. <laughs> I guess some personalities just rub each other the wrong way, even before truly knowing them. Number 3. David O. Russell and George Clooney but before I get going any further, if you haven't subscribed, do so, and turn on your notifications for more videos like these in the future. Now, while many celebrity duos end up not really liking each other, it's often overblown just how much they don't get along. However, in the case of David O. Russell and George Clooney, that's a whole different story entirely. This duo worked together on one film, and after that, not only did they swear not to work with each other again, they said they would have likely fought if they ever saw each other again. The two worked together on the 1999 film Three Kings, which actually did kind of well at the box office, among critics, and even earned a BAFTA award. However, behind the scenes, very little would go right. According to Clooney, Russell had a bad habit of berating and belittling people, to the extent that Clooney even got involved and tried to end it, and that's when a very physical fight took place. The fight was so bad, in fact, that Warner Brothers seriously considered shutting everything down. Fortunately, cooler heads would prevail and the movie did get completed. However, the damage had already been done. Then in 2004, Clooney was asked about Russell and replied that if he saw him, he'd punch him. In a similarly timed interview, Russell had a similar choice of words for Clooney. Number 2. Will Smith and Janet Hubert the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is hailed as one of the best sitcoms ever, and for good reason, but it's also seen as the beginning of Will Smith's illustrious acting career. However, his aunt on the show wasn't exactly too fond of him. Janet Hubert played Aunt Viv for many seasons, but she didn't like Smith and thought that he was an egomaniac. She also felt that her character should have gotten more attention than his. Ironic, right? Very recently, a Fresh Prince reunion took place, with much of the remaining cast getting together for a photo op, but not Aunt Viv, who found out about the event and then went on a Facebook rampage about not being invited. Number 1. Charlie Sheen and everyone 
All right, Charlie Sheen isn't refusing to work with everyone, but in the course of a few years, he ruffled a whole lot of feathers, and not in the way that cues a laugh track. Sheen was on cloud nine with his successful sitcom Two and a Half Men. He went through numerous seasons on the show, got a lot of praise, was part of the number one comedy on the air, and then he went bucket nuts. In the infamous Tiger Blood speech, he would proclaim himself greater than everyone. When he was released from the show, he did all he could to sabotage it, including having his own celebrity roast be on the night and time that the new season of Two and a Half Men was debuting with his replacement, Ashton Kutcher. Now, when the show was coming to an end, many wondered if Sheen would make a cameo return. They did tease it, but then pulled a 180 and openly mocked Sheen by dropping a piano on his character, with show creator Chuck Lorre saying, winning, but it didn't end there. Sheen then went to effects for the show Anger Management, where he had similar issues with some of his co-workers, including Selma Blair, who after a verbal fight was quote-unquote fired by Sheen. While it's fair to say that Charlie has sobered up since that incident, and has been in certain movies and cameos, it's nothing compared to the height that he was in before. That's been 11 celebrities who won't work together. And tell me in the comments below, would you ever work with them if they treated you like this? And which ones should have been on my list? Let me know all about it. Be sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time.